Does my beard make me look fat? Hi folks, Brian Haywood here back with another uh, beard video for you for my beard series. Uh, and we've been talking about uh, some uh, unexpected awkward stages. Um, some of them are expected and some of them aren't. Last time we talked about itching. Uh, this time we're talking about the chubby cheeks, right? When, and let's think about why you sometimes might think that uh, growing a beard makes your face look fat. Well, when you first start growing it, it's, that really has no choice but to go out. Right, so from what you're used to, the, the biggest thing is it's going to look different than you're used to. Uh, the second part is uh, if it's a, a certain length up to the first couple months, it's really just going to stick out. So yeah, it might stick out for now, and this part is going to become wider. But as you as it gets longer, the the bottom part is going to really elongate your face. Growing your mustache is going to make everything kind of drop down, and it's going to start to make your face look longer no matter what shape your face is normally it's going to look longer but it takes some time so there's going to be a stage and even even me who's got a really you know i've got a really thin frame uh i thought my face looked fat um but what happened eventually is the part underneath started growing out and and, and everything started to look a little bit longer a little bit more proportional is there anything you can do well the biggest thing is just time uh, it's just waiting it out um, you don't want to do too much trimming too early. I want to talk about that in my next video. It's kind of your, the early decision making process about uh, what you're going for and what you need to do to kind of help you support that. The only thing you can really do is uh, right through here, you can kind of blend everything in a little bit more. Um, that's one thing. And then as your hair gets a little bit longer on your face, is you can start to try to train the military style brush I talked about last time, boar's hair uh, bristle brush will help you try to get it laying down. And then you've got beard balm, um, which can help because it's got beeswax in it. Okay, so that would kind of be the second thing you want to buy is after you get the, the brush, you got some beard oil is the next is to start trying to do uh, some beard balm. Just don't be surprised if it takes a while for the, the, the hair right here to lay down. Once it starts laying down, then you can start trying to get the straight shape. You know, you kind of want it to go straight down from your widest point here on the side of your head. You want it to, your beard to go straight down from there. Most people are looking for that style. Some people like the big bushy beard uh, or even the more pointed beard, but most people kind of go with a happy medium, which is to kind of go straight down from your face. And we'll talk more about uh, different options you've got for the shape of your beard uh, coming up as well. Um, so be careful on that. And as your beard gets longer, then you want to see how thick it is here. And that will kind of depend on how much you want to taper the sides. So we'll do another video on tapering the sides. All right. So thanks for joining me. And next time we'll talk about uh, a different stage. All right.